Well, gentlemen, it's been 48 hours since our man Blaskowitz returned from Castle Wolfenstein. That's given us ample time to digest his findings. Findings which are, to say the least, astonishing. That's an understatement, sir. The question I'm putting to you all now is this. What are the Nazis really up to? Well, sir, to put it bluntly, I don't think we know enough to answer that question. Really? Now, don't get me wrong. We've learned plenty about their capabilities. That alone scares the hell out of me. Here, here. But... Yes, Jack? Well, there are two things that still bother me. Exactly what is this dark night they all seem to be so interested in? Well, what did our research come up with? Nothing. A complete blank. Well, it's obviously more of their jiggery-pokery raising the ghoulies rot. What's the second thing, Jack? The second thing is Death's Head. Now, here we have probably the single most dangerous figure in the entire Third Reich, and still, we don't have a clue about his connection to all of this. Death's Head? Haven't our sources placed him at the secret rocket base in Katamarundi? Well, that's correct. In fact, as luck would have it, our man Blaskowitz is headed there now. He is? Yes. His orders are to infiltrate and sabotage the entire V weapons complex. With any luck, he might even get his hands on the latest experimental Cobra. The Cobra rocket plane? The very one. That's exciting news, sir. So, uh, what would you say, Jack, to my instructing our man to keep his eyes and ears open for any links to projects involving the uh, paranormal? I would say that was an excellent idea, sir.
believe so. Nothing else is scheduled. to report, Corporal. Well, sir, about three hours ago, a general's car with a full escort came flying through here. And then about an hour and a half later, they left. <laughs> Thank you. 